Rebel Canners, teaching all kinds of food preservation, especially the old ways. Welcome back, Rebel Canners. I'm here with another car talk. I know. Um, so there's these canning terms that get floated around that are really used incorrectly and it's become common vernacular. And when you try to correct somebody, they want to argue with you that they know it because they've heard it so much. So I think in this one, I'm going to go through a couple of those and just discuss it. And then I will let the angry comments fall where they may, because there are so many people that know what they know and they don't realize that it's wrong. <laughs> so we're going to start with you sterilize your jars and I've covered this. I'll leave a link up here. No, you sanitize your jars. I realize that every single time you hear it somewhere, it uses the word sterilize, but you're not sterilizing them because the minute you take them out of your canner and you touch them with your tongs that are not sterile, they are not sterile. They are sanitized. What you are really trying to do is to sanitize them. You're not even trying to sterilize them. So that is like the number one pet peeve term that people use incorrectly. And before you get all on your high horses down there, please remember, I used to be the head of sterile processing. I know the difference between sanitize and sterilize, and I have taken many classes to do that. It's not what you think it is. And it's used incorrectly every day. There is another term that is used incorrectly constantly in canning. That is dry canning. There's no such thing. You raw pack things without water and you can them. You oven seal things. You oven can things, even though that's way another topic for another day but there is no such thing as dry canning it has become a popular way to describe the process because obviously you're packing things into jars that hopefully you wash so they're not even really dry <laughs> just throwing that out there and not putting liquid in with them and canning them it is not an approved process of except for things like nuts. So, and then they called it dry processing. They didn't even call it dry canning. So I don't know where the term has come from. It's become really, really popular. And when you try to correct people, which I have tried since it became popular to use it in my group, people get very angry that I don't know what I'm talking about, but there's no such thing. It's just common vernacular. It's not actually the, what the technique is called. Okay, go ahead, be angry. Write down there, put a lot of angry comments, please, please. Um, number three, we'll, we'll kind of break number two down a little bit. Um, dry canning where you put dry goods in your oven and you use your oven as a vacuum sealer you create a, a hot temperature in the jar. Then when you take it out, you put your lid, your ring on after you take it out, mind you. And that creates a temperature variance that causes a seal. That is sealing your jars. It is not to be confused with oven canning, which when ovens first came out in the 1920s, it was popular for about a year and a half. And then they realized that the temperatures in the inside did not necessarily in every oven, in every situation, get hot enough to actually kill the bacteria inside the jar. And it quickly went out of fashion um, for that reason. So um, people still do it. It's not recommended. That's all I'm gonna say on it. That's your choice. You be you. Um, 
So I think those are the three that I see the most that are really, really hard to talk to people and make sure we're all discussing things on the same level because when you use term, the wrong term interchangeably with other wrong terms or other terms, it makes it really hard for us all to be on the same page and talking the same language when we're talking about what we're doing and how we're doing it. And it makes it really hard for new people to learn. So I hope going forward, um, if you listen to this, you'll understand why I try to correct people, why I want people to use the right terms so that, and the accurate terms so that we can all understand each other and we're not being so confused by um, some of these terms. So thank you for my little rant that you've listened to all the way through. And I hope that this helps somebody, especially somebody new who's trying to learn the terms. So thank you and you have a great day, Rebel Canners. Please like, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss another episode.